Hi everyone, I've been asked if I could share the notepad script that I have been using in my videos, so I created this video. I have uploaded this script onto my website, so just go to Archive, Auto Hockey, select the drop down, and go all the way down, and there will be a script called Frameless Notepad. That's just what I called it. Now, save this as a script and run it. And in future tutorials, I will cover how this whole thing works. But in this video, I'm just going to walk you through the features of it. So first off, there is a hotkey that launches the notepad, which is the Windows key and the end key. So if I do that, it's going to launch notepad like that. And then if I do it again, it launches another one and then another one. Now, if you hold down the alt key and then use the left mouse button to move it around, you can use the notepad. You can move the notepad around like that. And also you can use the Windows key, Alt key, and the arrow keys to move the notepad around the screen like this using the keyboard. Now, if you put your mouse cursor on the notepad and while holding down the right mouse button, if you press the left mouse button, then it downsizes. If you do it again, then it's going to resize back up to its original size. And that can happen for every other notepad. And the script is going to remember what was the original size of these notepads. All right. And you can zoom in to, if you think the font size is too small, you can zoom in by pressing the control and the mouse wheel up. And this is a Windows default uh, function for notepad. Um, although if you get out of the notepad and then relaunch it, the zoom setting is not going to be saved. The work around that is to launch notepad using the start key to launch the notepad in the normal mode and then go format font and increase the font size to say I don't increase it to 20 and while you're here you can also change the font uh, to something else right once you have done that you can close out of the notepad and launch the frameless notepad by launching the hotkey and then you can see that the font family and the size has changed. Lastly, there is a autosave function that I have built into this script, which I have disabled by default, which is right here. So this amount of time is, I think, five minutes. So I'm just going to reduce it down to uh, 10 seconds. And then, so what's going to happen is these no, the contents in the notepads will be saved onto my desktop. Obviously, you can change the you can change the folder as you wish. Now, if I save the script and run it again, what it's going to do is it's going to save the notepad contents every ten seconds. So I'm sorry, I'm just waiting. Oh, sorry. I, I have to launch the notepad to have it started. So I just launched another one. And now 10 seconds later, it should start saving. There we go. You see the tooltip. This tooltip is an opportunity for you to exit out of the autosave for that instance. But as you can see here, the notepad, the notepad contents are being saved like that. Let me open that up. So that's this one here. And then let me open up another random one. Let's see what we get. This must be the empty one. And let me select another one. This is another greetings. I selected this one then. Also greetings. Empty. Empty. And. Oh, there you go. Hello. Greetings again. I'm getting very lucky with the greetings one. Greetings, greetings, all greetings. I think, oh yes, it's because I'm opening up all these notepads that have the word greetings in it. That's why um, all these are also being saved onto my desktop. Um, anyway, so that's it for today's video. I will go back to my tutorial videos after this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.